What's up? It's Zeals. Yeah, I'm a little bit disoriented to the left. And before we go any further, I just want to say that this comment from the last video, I didn't say anything about it. This is just a surprise you want. You want the giveaway for $20 straight up to your PayPal. I will explain about this random event towards the latter portion of the video if you want to stick around. Now, to answer your question, will they increase the rates and will they, you know, lower the pricing on the packs in this game my answer i don't want to get sued okay but my thoughts on this i just want to talk to you guys openly today i know it's not going to be a guide it's not going to be informational it's not it's not it's not going to be entertaining for some of y'all but i just want to be open and just talk about something that has been locked up inside me that i have talked about yesterday during the live stream i'm going to make a video about this they're not going to change. I really wanted to use that clip, but I was just blasting away some music. And you know me, I stutter all the time. So I just, I'm recording this again. Not because M. Tashed, he said that he's quitting. I mean, he already told us that he's quitting. I'm really sad about that, by the way. I've, I, I've told you guys, those that are on my Discord, uh, the 35,000 of you guys, I was just, I'm just sad about it. I'm really sad about it. We lost the content creator. Anyways, back on topic. Sorry about that. Um, Will they increase the rates? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Um, I don't think that they will lower the price. You know what? As I said in the live stream, I think if they had the opportunity, they will just increase the price if they can get away with it, right? This is not a rant. This is not a complaint. I just want to have a discussion. I got some coffee with me, Americano. I just want to talk to you guys about how I feel about these things. Just straight up facts, outside the box, what's going on around the gaming industry. Genshin Impact has had success when it comes to money in terms of profits, revenue, before or after taxes, it doesn't matter. They have made a <laughs> shit ton of money, okay? I might get demonetized, but hey, it's what it is. It's not the first time, but dude, they have made bank. And you know, let's just talk about the figures here. 250 million in their first month. I'm sure it's over 350. You know, once again, don't sue me over this, but <laughs> I'm sure it's something around like three something, three to 400 million in the first month, including the PC as well as the PS4 sales. And yeah, you know, I, I could already feel you guys, but this is a gotcha game. It's a gotcha game. But hey, for most of us, we didn't know it was a gotcha game. I mean, I knew it was a gotcha game because I tested this game out. And as I said in the previous video, I thought this game was going to break away. We're going to enter the Western audience and break away from that by going into PS4 and Switch. Even, hey, yo, watch any of Genshin Impact ads. They're beautiful. They're cutscenes. They're the cinematics, right? None of the gotcha aspects. You don't see, oh, watch my girlfriend do this while my mom, you know, like you don't see any like summons or any like shady shit in the commercials like people see this open world beautiful rpg with mona's thighs and um just jiggle physics everywhere and then people in install the game and they're like holy shit it's so fun and it's still fun for me don't get me wrong but it just like then they see the thing called the gotcha system all right the resin the energy system it's clearly working for them in terms of money player retention and all that that's what they are also monitoring i'm sure gaming industry nowadays they they monitor this even blizzard activision blizzard they are doing this as well and players were shocked that they're counting all the deaths that happened in classic wow like why would you be surprised this is the normal standard in the gaming industry now they like i said in in my previous videos they know when you pick up that flower they know how many times your main character died. They know how many times you pressed your E. It's all being logged. They know what they're doing. The pricing, the rates, how many um, Genesis crystals you're getting for $100. They know. It's a working formula in their previous game. And they have adopted all the winning formulas into this game. They have upped the game, of course, with high graphics, um, a great storyline, adorable characters, draws you in. And... The mobile industry overall cannot compete. Let's just face facts here. They are number one downloaded in eight countries. They're number one revenue in multiple countries. They're number one overall worldwide as a mobile game. Or is it just all games? Anyways, I'm losing all the data. I'm losing my brain cells. But they are... They have made a record, guys. Like, 
they are pretty much flexing on the industry they got the winning formula and surprised everybody like ea activision they're they're all taking notes guys fifa they're all taking notes man they're like how did this eastern game enter the western world and got away with all of these the pricing the rates they're taking notes guys and they're already incorporating some of the aspects into their games it's not like like i said in the stream this is not mihoyo is not the first company to do this they're just the first to break through with their advertising with the hype as well as of course the gameplay the graphics and the the thighs and the titties to back it up all right it's sad i know gone are the days where it's not the 1990s where you purchase a game pack and you just enjoy it forever it's not like that there's gonna be loot boxes loot crates rng involved i mean look at what i'm doing right now i am farming 24 no i don't play 24 7 but the the moment that i log in till the moment i log off it's just all based on rng and yeah yeah it is fun it, it feels rewarding when i do <laughs> eventually get a decently rolled artifact with no defense or hp dude if it will oh, voice crack but yeah it feels great you know all those terrible runs with terrible artifacts that that gets erased the moment you get what you want when the stars align all the bad previous moments they get erased it's the same with gotcha the summons like i said it's a winning formula and this formula is going to be it's already being adopted and has been adopted into the gaming industry gone are the days of not being tied to microtransactions or temptations everywhere this is how it is man and you know some countries will ban this but most countries because of how powerful these corporations are getting once again genjin is into the billion dollar club it's just a matter of time mihoyo they they've already been there they're already in there what am i saying so the lobbyists you know the lobbying you know all of that stuff you know, same things happening with the antitrust with Google and all of that stuff. They, they're just going to pay a fine and move along. Why am I even talking about this? Because people ask me all the time about pricing, the rates. Is it going to be any better for us, for those that do not have, you know, tens and <laughs> thousands of dollars, literally? You know, and people ask me about, is it worth getting a monthly card or a battle pass? I don't know their situation. I don't know if they're a college student or if they're borrowing money for this. But my answer, like I said in the stream, is is pretty much a no. No, it's not worth it. You're winning when you're playing this as a free-to-play. All right? Now, just because you're free-to-play does not mean you're automatically winning. You're still investing your time into this. The time that you could be investing into something else, like improving yourself, whether it's your health or something like that. Anyways, if you're enjoying the game, if you're logging in, because you want to play your waifus, your husbandos, your lollies, your furries, uh, whatever, right? <laughs> then more power to you. You're, you're the one winning. If you're logging in and you're just hating it, then it's a toxic relationship, my friend. And if you are a free-to-play player and you're thinking about spending, and maybe you have already, maybe you didn't get the results that you wanted, whether your wishes went south or you spent your primo gems and you know, recharged your resin. And then you went to the artifact dungeon and you did not get the artifact that you wanted with the substats, the main stats. And then afterwards, if you have this feeling of, I need to keep going, I need to keep spending, I need to keep grinding till I get the desired result. That's what they want. That's what they want to convert the free to play, okay, into whales. So if you're free to play and you're enjoying the game every second of it, I'm so happy for you. But if you're free to play, and you know you're just thinking about it and you have you know deep inside that you may get trapped then don't even do it don't even do it i'm letting you guys know right now okay it's not it's, it's not worth it even for me as a person making the money back making the content for this game it ain't even it ain't worth it okay now i'm not saying if you have disposable income if you're responsible you're an adult that knows how to spend their money have a budget that is awesome that's what i'm going to do as well so if you know how to control yourself, if you're okay with what you got at the end of the day, let's say you, you know, have a monthly pass and you did your 50 summons after a month or two of saving and you're okay with the results and you never pick up that credit card that you need to be spending on either your rent or something. 
then I'm not talking to you guys. You're, you're Gucci. I'm not saying don't support the game if you want and if you can. But just be careful of the existing trap that works. It, it works, guys. Okay? That's why they are the number one grossing game in the world. And other companies are taking notes. Believe me, they are studying this. They are loving this. They're like, how do we get away with it? Just like miHoYo. Okay? So just be mindful of that. And don't be too caught up once again with your end results. Even with the starting characters, you will be fine. I know you want those but when you're going down this rabbit hole, when you're spending upwards of a semester in college or community college or could have spent that money on like a new computer so you can edit videos so you can, you know, be a YouTuber or something, whatever your dream is, then just think about it once again. That's all I'm saying, dude. And I know some people, they're like, if they just lower the price, I would be willing to spend. Guys, they have a winning formula. This is clearly working they're going to milk the whales it's the same thing with chanel prada louis vuitton i mean i spend a lot of money in starbucks i'm pretty damn sure my cup of coffee is not worth seven dollars dude so gaming industries know that people will dump a lot of money <laughs> into their products into their traps and they will capitalize on those that have spending addictions so just be mindful save your money Yes, it will take time to get your desired results. Maybe you won't ever get the desired character in this game. Just shrug it off. All right, it's okay. That's pretty much it. I know we talked about the Google Play as well as the iOS thing. Yes, there are discounts on Google Play. The reason why I don't want to talk about that is <sighs> the less boundaries there are, there is a thing called a spending friction, right? You can Google this up. You can study about this. The less boundaries there are, the easier it is to pay for something, the more likely that you are. Okay, so I didn't want to really talk about that or promote that, to be honest with you. It is stupidly easy. Like for me, on my uh, iPhone, just look at my phone and the transaction goes through. That is so scary, guys. Back in the old days, before ATMs, all right? Back when I was a kid, I had to go to the bank to withdraw the money, walk all, walk my ass all the way to the bank, withdraw the money, and then purchase things, right? With the cash, carry around the stupid change, which smells like, I don't know, what does it smell like? That's after, by the way, begging my grandma for an entire month for some pocket change, dude, and getting my ass smacked by her pipe. Anyways, that's the video. From now on, when I do giveaways, I'm not going to announce it. I'm just going to pick a random comment. Maybe do it every video, I don't know, uncertain amount, but I'm just going to pick a comment randomly and I'll announce the winner in the next video. Just a small way of saying thank you and giving back to my free to play audience or those that are in a tight situation. I have done the giveaway, given money to the eight winners and four additional people messaged me saying that they also won. So we had some imposters among us and I had to deal with that. You know, boot them out, ban them, get them out of there. But shit, man, money. Yeah. Money's money, dude. And money comes with all the things that it comes with. Anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Your boy Zeal's out. Peace.